Hello my gorgeous Libra. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely splendid, truly wonderful. Libra, let's get straight into it. I don't like to lose any time. Let's jump in head first. I'll clear the deck for you. Libra, for this week, I want to talk about, kind of explore someone very specific that you are thinking about. Doesn't mean you're thinking about them always, but maybe they're still at the back of your mind, in your heart space. And regardless if you are with this person or not, if you're talking to them or not, I want to really explore here and really get straight to the point and in-depth, most current up-to-date energy check-in with you and this person. What is really going on? Without further ado, Libra, let's get straight into this. And of course, as I shuffle, you don't have to, but I do encourage you to subscribe to this particular channel. That way you are guaranteed to never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I, Fifi, do for you here in Australia every single Thursday without fail. It is the 11th of July, 2024. Let's go full steam ahead. Let's just step into the second half of the year with hope, with faith, with renewal. All right, they're saying two more. Last one. I don't know why they're showing me music and I, I can't even hear the song. Okay, I don't know. It'll probably come to me. <laughs> sometimes I can hear it, sometimes I can't. All right, five, four, three, two, last one. And of course, as usual, if anyone wishes to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with Gigi, I'm actually closed for readings, um, but Gigi is open. She does cover everything from love, career, finances, and everything in between. All that information how to book with her is in the description box below as well uh, you'll have the direct links to our signature online master tarot course and our ebook slash workbook it's dedicated to you it's called self-love they are still heavily heavily reduced don't pay full price take advantage all of that information is in the description box below libra what is going on here what happened and i'm sorry that you may be feeling this way even if it's like eh, it's not that bad we're probably even on the tail end of the Five of Cups. Now, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't really matter at this point because um, this person can be any gender, any age, and any star sign. But Libra, this is all about just being so disappointed and sad about how things turned out. You went in this last relationship. Doesn't matter if it was recent or a long time ago. I feel like it still hurts a bit. It's like, damn, that's a shame it didn't work out. You know, some of you may be kind of even regretting how you were so vulnerable or why did I trust this person and I think deep down inside you may still be kind of mourning the death of the relationship or the loss of it how it ended but I commend you because even though it hurts and it pains you you have moved on six of swords Aquarius energy even if this was a, a near or long distance connection I feel like there's a lot of things that you wanted to say to this person, but you never got the opportunity. That's why the swords are down. It's like, I have to hold my tongue and just go move forward. And I love this because it's a number six. And even though, yes, you know what? Mentally you're prepared, emotionally, it probably still hurts. You're actually still going into that lake of tranquility here. A new beginning. Oh, ooh, Libra. I wasn't expecting this. I actually thought that the cards were gonna kind of pivot, like direct me that you were going towards someone new even though I specifically wanted to talk about someone that you know. Libra, if I said that there is a chance, right? Perhaps an opportunity to start fresh with this person, would you go ahead with it? You don't have to, because I feel like some of you have really moved on, but I just need you to get ready because this person, and there's a reason why you're watching this reading. I don't believe in mistakes or coincidences, but there is perhaps, I said perhaps, that's not even a word, perhaps a chance with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy to start fresh with this person. Get ready because you have the surprise card, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio um, energy here. We're going to get a surprise out of left field from this person. Why do I say that? Because we have the Six of Cups and that is uh, again Scorpio energy. Blast from the past, right? Reconciliation, someone that's coming in peace. They're feeling all up in their feelings here about you. Yeah, they come in peace because we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. Your person is recognizing that to even salvage this relationship or even start off as friends with you, they need to inject a lot of peace, balance and harmony and of course a lot of patience here. 
Mm, that is you, the Two of Swords. You may actually be at a fork in the road. Uh, I'm gonna say sooner rather than later, probably in the next chunk of the next few weeks here. It's like, well, what do I do now? I, I work so hard to move on. This person broke my heart. I'm actually hearing that a lot of you really loved this person. You know, we could, yeah, love someone, but you loved this person with capital L-O-V-E. So, you know, I feel like you're really just protecting your mind. You're protecting your heart here. That's not easy to put up with, but you did it and you had no choice but to move on. You did it with grace, with humility and beauty. Let's see. And now it's like, this always happens, you know, we are going to be entering a Mercury retrograde, I believe sometime in early August. So don't be surprised if that happens. Yeah, with Libra, that's you right here. Libra energy with the Ace of Swords. Interesting. Um, you're going to get some clarity from this person. They want to talk to you. Wow. Okay. The Ace of Swords is what happens after the Ten of Swords. Literally this conversation, if you want to, right? Um, this clarity that's going to come out of your mouth and this person's mouth will literally cut through all the past pain, all the cha past challenges. Ah, we've also, we've also got the devil. Capricorn energy. Why is the devil there, please? <sighs> okay. Because the three of swords. And that is you. That is Libra energy. Heartbreak. I feel like there was a toxic third party here meddling in. This might be new information to you, especially if a lot of stuff happened behind your back, conversations where you were not there. And a lot of stuff happened that you were not there to see. Um, you're going to get clarity. This person, I don't know what's driving them to do this though, but they want to come and tell you the truth. They want to confess. They want to divulge everything and just maybe they have a guilty conscience here, but there is a toxic third party here. Libra again. So when your star sign, when Libra comes out so consistently in the readings because you're in a position of power and this will require your immediate attention and analysis here. We've got you again. So Page of Swords, Libra Energy. I love that you are known here as the true communicator, the ultimate messenger. There's no gray area with you. There's no BS. You just say what's on your mind. You're all about truth, justice, equality. And I feel like that's going to happen. It's right underneath you, Libra, Libra. We have the Two of Swords, more Libra energy, more Libra energy with that Three of Swords here. They want to have a pretty challenging, if not awkward conversation with you. And they want to tell you the truth. And I feel like because they come in peace, they want you back and they want to salvage and heal this relationship here. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra and Gemini energy here. Yeah, look how the king here is looking straight at you. They are wielding that sword straight up, open, honest conversation. See, your sword is pointing down. There's still a lot of things that you want to say to this person. And I think some of you are wondering, is it even worth it? Right? But they, they do want to talk to you. I feel like this person's quite infatuated, very attached. They cling on to the idea of coming back to you, though. But it's been quite messy, not because of you. It's because of this person here. They really, they did a number here on your heart. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. I'm getting two messages. Uh, it's very rare for me to kind of like just, you know, especially with court cards, just to get one message. I usually get quite a lot here. Definitely this is your ex. It's someone that you have history with. Would not be surprised if this person was married, if they were committed, engaged to someone else, if there were children there, for example. That definitely with that Queen of Pentacles can indicate that very toxic, annoying, and I'm hearing also very mean like a parasite, yeah? Very mean third party here. And yeah, not only were they the cause of this separation, but your person did lack boundaries here. You know, like to stand up, you know, be more assertive like you are. The second message I'm getting here is that they want to commit to you and only you, but is it too late? Oh, okay. We're going to have to clarify this. You know, Libra, I'm really sorry about what happened. Split the deck. Like I was talking about the Ten of Swords. Here we go. Gemini energy that rolls over to the ace so ten of swords is about sad endings loss separation divorce a lot of you are feeling very betrayed by this person like when you needed them the most when it was a golden opportunity for them to stand up they failed and wow boy did they fail three more two more this did not end well with you and your person. I can already see it. All these swords, right? The more swords that we see, of course, the sooner this is going to happen because swords do represent weeks, but swords can also represent mental challenges, you know, strife and all that. So, mm, okay, sorry, sorry. They're telling me to do it one more time. I always listen to my spirit team. Here we go. Four, three, 
three, two, last one. Now I can already see your person is coming back with good intentions in the sense that they want to heal this, they want to win you back and all that. Libra, the question for you, and only you can answer this is, how do you get past this? That's the thing. I agree that sometimes people can change and they needed this lesson, but of course that's beautiful and we're flattered, right? But it doesn't mean you have to take them back. Oh, this person, look what they're doing. What is going on? Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. This person is wishing for you, like literally wishing upon a star, right? They're manifesting you. They're keeping high hopes here. Look at that, wishes, dreams, happiness. This person always knew that you were the one, but I feel like now it's catching up to them. It's like now Libra is the one. But I go back to that question, is it too late? This person's really missing you. Look at that, the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. So this person's quite melancholic over you. I wouldn't even say even that emotional depression. What's the point? I'm not with Libra anymore. But, you know, that's the thing. I'm hearing the word damage, and I think your person is very aware of the very deep damage they have caused, specifically trust over you. Look at that, Page of Swords came out again. See, the sword is pointing up now. So they want to talk to you. They really do. They're going to take action with the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Absolutely. I don't know where they're getting this confidence from. That's the thing. But um, they really want to take control of this situation. Look at this. Of course, we've got the Wise Counselor, which is the Hierophant or the High Priest, Taurus energy. They want to fix something on how they comported themselves. I'm hearing that they, they are calling themselves a coward because they probably just disappeared. They didn't stand up for you because they know two of swords again, Libra energy, it's gonna be your choice and your choice alone if you want the three of cups cancer energy, which is reconciliation. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, you got my number one favorite card. We do have the sun, Leo energy, and Leo energy is coming up pretty soon. So this person may actually arrive with that three of cups, we've got cancer there, but they may arrive or give you some sign, a message, an inkling, anything here around Leo season. That is the most happiest card in the deck, but it's the most powerful card. And that offers a lot of, of course, pure joy, bliss and blessings. But the most important is that the sun offers illumination and we're getting clarity. So I feel that the next, I'm going to say, I'm kind of picking up the next three weeks let's say let's be generous with time the next two to three months that's a good couple of weeks i do feel here that um you're going to have a lot of weight lifted off your shoulders you're not going to feel so heavy and your your chest is not going to feel so like heavy with like always disappointment not because of you because of other people right ace of swords for you please you are getting clarity because of that two of wands aries energy look at that so that's you and your person finally coming together. So Aries, I'm going to say Aries because I'm looking at that. Libra, sorry. Um, if you want to meet this person in the middle, for whatever personal reason, there's no wrong answer here. I see that you're going to take action. They will take action on top of the Ace of Swords, Libra energy. That conversation here coming together is just going to be the aha moment. Your mind is actually going to be a lot more clearer. No more headaches. I'm getting that. That's just stress. Let's talk about that devil, please. We have... The dreamer or more often known as the fool aries energy it is unnumbered some argue that this card could literally go anywhere in the major arcana because you know it's zero right unnumbered um i think what's happening here is that your person may suffer from a lot of impulsivity and that doesn't matter how old they are right or how young that can just show that there's still lack of life experience right they really need to learn to think plan and analyze before they talk before they take action here so this it's not like a spur of the moment they're going to take action because they're lonely. I just feel here this person is very attached to you. That might be new information to you. Think, no, they're indifferent. No, they're infatuated with you. Literally not a day goes by where they don't think about you. So they may wake up one day and say, you know what? Enough thinking, enough fantasizing about Libra. I'm just going to go for it. And they know the odds are stacked against them and the challenges and the separation and the hurt. They're still going to bite the bullet and do it. Let's talk about that third um, three of swords, please. Yeah, see, we've got the lovers. Gemini energy. And I absolutely love this. Yes, it, sees, it says that there's a soulmate relationships and um, relationships. Sorry, not plural. You know, lessons have been learned. Beautiful soulmate energy right there. We've got Archangel Raphael right there in the middle trying to heal this relationship. Hence why Archangel Raphael is wearing green right there. Mm, that represents our heart chakra, of course, but um, 
Oh, Libra, it's really telling you to make a decision from your heart. Now, if you really think about it right now, what is your heart telling you? Can I forgive this person? Can I reunite with them? Or I don't know if I'm even ready. The heart is not ready. We always need to listen to our heart first. And really, I think this is just a time to sit with yourself away from outside influence, not even listening to me. And just what is your heart speaking to you? Because what I love is that the Three of Swords is not all doom and gloom. It actually does promise healing and also forgiveness. So there we go. A lot of people don't know that. Let's talk about you with that page of swords. So your person, I think they are watching you. Yeah, look at that. We've got balance. This is temperance, Sagittarius energy, and this is the complete opposite of the devil. They are polar opposites, right? The devil is the card of extremes. It's too much, right? To the point where it can come unhealthy, right? Become unhealthy. I can't even talk today. Um, but the balance or slash temperance here is the complete off opposite. So your person really wants to inject peace, balance, harmony. They do know that they need to be very patient with you, but they are seeing kind of like this potential that if I came clean, if I was honest, if I approached Libra softly and not force anything onto them and show that there is no inter interference at all, maybe there is a chance here. But of course, let it come and let it flow. They're going to have to take this day by day with you. The King of Swords, please. I knew it. They want to talk to you. We've got the second fastest moving energy in the deck with the Eight of Wands, uh, Sagittarius energy. So even if this person is near or far away, get ready because this is all incoming and outgoing messages. And I do see that you will be responding to this person. You may be a little bit weary, a bit hesitant, right? Kind of, mm, I don't want to feel too vulnerable. And sometimes, you know, we don't want to reopen these wounds and it's like, wow, don't rub salt on it. Don't make me regret that I'm talking to you again. Cupid's arrow, love messages. So I think that once you start talking to this person, things are going to start picking up again. There's going to be movement here. But let's see with our Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We've got two queens. I don't like seeing that. Not going to lie. There's going to be talks here about you and the third party. Something has ended. That is good. We've got the world. That's the last card of the Major Arcana, right? So your person with you starts with the first card of the Major Arcana and we end in the outcome with the last card of the Major Arcana. Excellent, beautiful energy, right? It's considered lucky, very favorable, like very positively aspected if we have the world. You know, um, we do have the four fixed signs here. Remember, we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius energy. I think your person has ended things once and for all, official, right? Finally, with that third party. Yep, something's happened here. We've got the tower, Scorpio energy. Something's come crashing down here. And it's been, you know, what I love is that the tower also means liberation. Um, why is it put, okay, they're telling me to take out one more. I knew it. That's why they're telling me. We also got the, the queen of pentacles, king of pentacles. That is you. Four of swords is Libra energy. That is you with rest, recuperation, recovery. You're meditating. You're planning here if you want to move forward with this person. Remember, the four is what happens after the three of swords. So you're still in that state of healing and wondering, can we heal this? I think you can with the star. Aquarius energy, that big fat star there in the middle is the north star, right? Some people say, depending what religion, they say it is linked to Bethlehem, right? If we start to get a bit more biblical. But regardless, right? It's about hope, faith, renewal, wishes being granted. And look at that, washing away all the past pain. This is part of your destiny, Libra. I know that this person really let you down. They hurt you. And sometimes it's like when we get so sad and hurt, you actually feel it in your stomach. You feel it in your chest. And it just, it's just terrible. We've all been there. I've been there as well. But could it be with that tower, we can also with you build that tower up, but this time with a firmer, stronger foundation. So is this over? Absolutely not. There is still a chance. It's in fact, that we had also the sun make an appearance, you know, the sun will always say soften the effect of any challenging cards here. Just get ready though, Libra, because they're literally on their way. There's a lot of action cards here. Even the fool is an action card and they are literally coming to claim this love back, but they realize they do need to be very patient, approach you softly. But this conversation, the first one, is going to offer so much clarity. It's like the aha moment. You have nothing to worry about. Libra, we will see you this Saturday for your weekend bonus love tarot reading. We cannot wait to read for you. It will be time stamped as well, so you don't have to watch all the other star signs. Um, so the time stamp is in the description box below when we uh, when it's live on Saturday. Thank you for your time power to you. Never ever change for anyone. But most of all, I thank you for your time.
All right, Libra, can't wait to read for you again. Bye.